There is the most famous samurai in the history of Japan, Musashi Miyamoto. I feel lonely with every step that I take. I don't feel good and my body starts to shake. I fell in love with a girl I haven't seen her met so far. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the only one who sees what they He is one of the most skilled swordsmen. His first duel was when he was 13 and he went to province to province during various samurais. And he never failed to win, even though he had 61 encounters. This was his ages of 13 and 29. After that, he studied and looked for the principal and he came to realize the way of strategy when he was 50. And when he was 62, he started to write a book to explain his practical skills and spirits and philosophies he developed in his life as an undefeated samurai in a cave called Leigando. He spent the last two years of his life in Leigando to finish the book and meditate. And he passed away in 1645 when he was 64. The book he wrote in his last two years is The Book of Five Rings. The skills, spirits, philosophies he explained in the book is essential to live as a human being and it's applicable to any art form, study and business. Since this channel is about photography, I'm gonna explain how we can apply them to our photography journey. In Buddhism, five rings represent five elements which compose this universe. Ground, water, fire, wind and void. He refers to this concept of Buddhism and divide the book into five scrolls. He explained essential principles of samurai in each scroll. I cannot explain everything, but I'm gonna explain important essences in each scroll, especially to photographers. This scroll is a kind of introduction of this book, and he explained the fundamentals of what he wanted to tell us. There is an iconic sentence in this scroll. Knowing the small by way of the great, going from the shallow to the deep as if it were a straight way on the ground. Through this book, he repeatedly said, Ichi wo motte ban wo shiru. Having one thing to know 10,000 things. There are so many paths. Buddhist, teachers, tea connoisseurs, dancers, and so on. Even though they are not the path of samurai, if you have wide knowledge of them, you can deal with any situation. If you cultivate and polish your photography path, you can get to know other things easier by applying your photography knowledge. Because everything has a common essence and somehow everything is related. And he concluded this scroll with 9 rules to learn anything. 1. Do not think dishonestly. 2. Practice and cultivate the path. 3. Become acquainted with the arts 4. Know the principles of various paths 5. Understand gain and lose in everything 6. Train your eyes to see every detail 7. Perceive things which you cannot see 8. Pay attention to small things 9. Do nothing useless. Each rule is so important, and I can divide them to pick the essence of them. 1 and 2. There is no shortcut. You just have to train yourself every day. 3 and 4. Broaden your horizons. 5 and 6. See the essence of things. 7 and 8. Making small efforts. And 9. Just focus on your path. I think no more explanation is needed. These are directly applicable to photography. In this scroll, 
He started from the mentality to fight. Have the mind like water. Water conforms to the shape of vessel, round and square. It can be a drop and it can be an ocean. He explained the importance of being flexible. In terms of flexibility, he left an interesting expression in this scroll. Ukou mukou. Having a position without a position. Even though he explained the position of longsword, he completed the explanation with this expression. Where you hold your sword depends on your relation to your opponent and the place and must conform to the situation. Wherever you hold it, the idea is to hold it so that it will be easier to kill your opponent. You can see that the photography do. In photography, there are some basic positions like aperture, shutter speed, rule of third and so on. Of course, it's essential to learn these basics, but it doesn't mean you should follow these basics you learn every time. The idea is to take photos you want. To do that, how you take depends on your subject, location and your taste. Maybe you want to overexpose, put your subject at center and focus on your subject. Have the mind like water and be flexible. You can take in a way you want. He concluded this scroll with this sentence. Today, you will overcome yourself of yesterday. Tomorrow, you will win over those of lesser skill. And later, you will win over those of greater skill. In this scroll, he explained the practical strategies for martial arts. He started from the importance of depending on the place. He said it's important to position yourself with the sun at your back. You must look down on the enemy and take the slightly higher places. I have the high ground. In photography, position is everything. It's important to know the position of the sun and the position of the things to create interesting compositions. And there is an interesting expression in this scroll. Sankai no kawari. Mountain and sea changing means that it is bad to do the same thing over and over again. If the enemy thinks of a mountain, attack like a sea. If he thinks of a sea, attack like a mountain. In photography, it's important to be unpredictable. Sometimes you have to betray your viewers to attract them. If you shoot a mountain, shoot like a sea. If you shoot a sea, shoot like a mountain. If you feel like you are just copying someone's way, you can remember this expression. In this way, you can create something unique which nobody has seen. And there is another interesting expression in this group. Soto Goshu. Rat's head, ox neck means the balance between small and big. When you fight with the enemy and are occupied with small points like a rat, it's important to have a large spirit like an ox. Manipulate the rat's head and ox neck. In photography, balancing between attention to detail and being bold is so important. You have to be careful about small things like aperture, shutter speed, exposure. But on the other hand, you have to see a big idea to create something unique like theme, story, and composition. By applying this idea, you can take a beautiful photo which is very organized, but still unique and unseen. In Japanese, the kanji of wind also means style or manner. Like your wind, my wind, past wind, current wind. And in this scroll, he basically analyzes and criticizes other winds, means styles. He says, It's difficult to know yourself if you don't know others. There are some other schools that like to use extra long swords. They think it's better to use a longer sword because it can reach more. But what you use should depend on situations. He doesn't hate long swords, but a biased narrow spirit to use long sword blindly. 
It means you always shouldn't miss the ultimate purpose. Sold is just a tool. You can say the exact same thing to photography. We tend to think once we get a nice camera, we can get amazing shots. But it's not true. What's important is what kind of photo you wanna take. I don't say camera is not important. Of course it is. But we cannot miss our goal. We wanna take nice photos. Today, information is everywhere. And people try to lure you by saying like, you should buy this to improve your photography. Or only thing you should do is this. And we can easily be biased by this kind of information which is easier to digest. He concluded this scroll with In my school, there is no gate, no interior. There is nothing ultimate. It's just a matter of having the right spirit and understanding the value of the past. In my understanding, he means don't be biased by easy way out. Just focus on your path. This scroll is the conclusion of this book. By knowing what exists, you can know what doesn't exist. That's the void. And he said in the void, you can hit the enemy naturally and strike naturally. In the void, you might be able to take good photos naturally. He also mentioned the difficulty to get to the void. Until you get there, you might believe that you are right. But you should be humble and keep analyzing yourself with a straight mind you would realize how biased you are. Being confident is important, but if you wanna improve your photography and get to the void, you also have to be humble and be suspicious about the quality of your photos. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck in the crowd before the void. He concludes this book with saying, In the void, there is good, but no evil. Wisdom exists, logic exists, the way exists. Mind is empty. 12th May 1645, Musashi Miyamoto. Even though this book was written 400 years ago, we can apply them into our modern society in 2023. I talked about photography, but it can be any art form or business or study. In this fast moving society, Sometimes, it's so important to get back to the fundamentals by learning from great, great ancestors. Because you can find the essence of life. Maybe I could just explain 5% of this book. It's translated to many languages and I put the link of English version in the description. So please check it out. It's so worth it. So I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, Please hit the subscribe and like button. See you later. Sayonara.